I was the original professor on Gilligan's Island. You what? Two secretaries from USA Sail on the mean on this lovely day A high school teacher is next aboard All taking trips that they cannot afford I was with William Morris at the time and they sent me on an interview to meet with Sherwood about this pilot they were doing, Gilligan's Island. I went over to Fox and we had a nice meeting and uh, then they tested me at CBS and they cast me. I got the job. Uh, and then we shot the pilot in Kauai, on the island of Kauai. It was really a, a curious uh, coincidence of time. It was when before we, we we were ready to go on location and uh we heard that kennedy had been shot it was on that day and the location was about two and a half hours away by the time we got there then we received the news that indeed he had been killed and then we had to make funny stuff so it was an interesting kind of uh that wasn't the reason i was replaced <laughs> i'm not copying out as a matter of fact you were talking about sherwood schwartz earlier and I, I, I was talking to him about trying to find the music from Gilligan's Island because I do the show called Escape from Gilligan's Island. I mean, that, that is just the hook for all the funny, awful things that happen to one along the way, you know, career-wise. And uh, I said, finally, I said, Sherwood, tell me, why was I replaced? Because I couldn't figure it out. I, you know, to try to rationalize it for myself, I figured, well, you know, maybe I was too sexy to play with, uh, you know, two available women on the island. You know, anything to make myself feel better. I was devastated when I heard that I was going to be replaced. And she said, no, no. He says, you were replaced because at the time you're just too young to play the professor. I says, you could have told me then. <laughs> that would have been helpful. No, I, it was, I, I did something that was so foolish. When they, they called me and told me that I was going to be replaced, I was brand new in the business. I was, I was very young. And so I said, no, 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 that's, that's impossible. Everybody was telling me how terrific I came off. And, you know, and uh, so I said, I am going to go to New York and I'm going to see Jim Aubrey and I'm going to tell him he's making a terrible mistake. Now, that's insanity. I mean, <laughs> a crazy actor flying 3,000 miles to talk to the guy who's in charge of production for CBS. Anyhow, I got on a plane. And I went over to CBS, and I, I guess the, he, he had been forewarned <laughs> because he kept walking in and out reception and never gave me a look. And I don't blame him, mind you. You know, this insane actor's over there saying, why? You shouldn't do it. I'm very good, you know. You shouldn't be firing me. But the, it, looking back at it, which I do from time to time, uh, I can honestly say that, that, not, that, that Gilligan's Island was truly the best thing that never happened to me. I say that because all of these major talents like Bob Denver, Tina Louise, uh, Russell Johnson, who played my role, their careers were ended with Gilligan's Island. The reason for that, I think, is because uh, they were in the same costume on every show. They were so identified, and it was a huge hit for three years. Parenthetically, um, they didn't pay any residuals. So none of the actors got residuals. And, and it went into syndication almost immediately. Even as we talk now, it's probably playing in 20 different countries around the globe. And the actors, yeah, and the actors got, got nothing, nothing for it. Um, and I, I know that uh, Bob Denver was a major, major talent. I mean, he, he was a very, very talented uh, acting comedian. but. Did Gillis. He did that, that, yeah. Part that was so different than Gilligan. He had a wonderful career starting, and uh, you know that's the way it goes. And and they didn't pay big bucks to begin with. My salary called for seven hundred and fifty dollars an episode, which by today's standards is like the person that you send to get a sandwich <laughs> over at the the food center. You know, seven hundred and fifty bucks. I mean, accounting for inflation, that's still pretty low. Uh, but no, I was able to uh, have a, a reasonably full career doing a lot of stuff from Broadway to pictures to television. I was Mary Tyler Moore's boyfriend for a couple of seasons and 
And daytime was, was uh, uh, a, a nice money earner for me. I was on Ryan's Hope for 10 years and uh, uh, did a show called Love of Life. But I see none of that would have been possible, I don't think, had I been identified as the professor from Gilligan's Island. It doesn't have to do with talent, it has to do with perception. Russell Johnson did some wonderful stuff before Gilligan's Island, but uh, that, that show hung a label on him that uh, he, he and, and the other cast made. In fact, I thought Jim Backus had escaped it because he had so, so much going for him going into the show. But Sherwood told me that, no, no, he said Jim Backus suffered as well. Mm -hmm.